Hey guys, welcome to another video. So we have reached the Tata Motors Thrissur and we are going to review the all new Tata Punch. Now talking about the dimensions, the punch comes in 3827mm in length, 1742mm in width and 1615mm in height and it have 187mm ground clearance. Now talking about the engine, the Tata Punch comes in 1.2 liter petrol Revotron engine with Dyna Pro technology. Also it comes in 5 speed manual and automatic transmission with traction pro mode. It have a 37 liter fuel tank capacity and 366 liters of boot space. Now some of the features of the Tata Punch are one shot down driver window, rear armrest, ABS and EBD with brake sway control, rear defogger, cruise control, echo and city drive modes, four speakers with two tweeters and IRA technology where we can control the vehicle remotely using a smartphone. Tata Punch comes in seven different colors. The tornado blue that we are seeing here and also tropic mist Calypso Red, Orcus White, Daytona Grey, Meteor Bronze and the Atomic Orange. The Tata Punch got 5 star rating on Crash Test. The design of the Tata Punch looks similar to Harrier. We have a white chrome element on the front that are running just below the LED DRLs. We also have a turn indicator between the LED DRL and the front grille. Here you can see the piano black finish front grille with a tri arrow cutting on the right. Now below that we have the auto projector headlamps and front fog lamps with cornering function. We have a matte black finish front bumper with tri arrow designs. Here we have the dual tone colored auto fold ORVM. This is the door handle and it's having a cutting edge design. The Tata Punch is having a 16 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. Now these are the rain sensing wipers with the sensor at the top. We have a white colored roof and have the antenna here. Also we have the roof rails that are in piano black finish and it runs throughout the vehicle and ends before the spoilers. In the Tata Punch we have the rear door handles up here. Now this is the size of the fuel lid and it's positioned on the left side of the vehicle just under the rear tail lamps. Now moving on to the rear of the new Tata Punch we have the bold LED tail lamps here. We have the brake light within the spoilers and here we have the rear wiper. Just below that we have the Tata logo and just under that we have the parking camera. At the bottom we can see the Tata Punch branding. Now moving further down we have a matte black finish rear bumper with reflectors and tri arrow designs on both sides and below that we have the parking sensors. Now right under the Tata Punch branding we can see the boot opener button at the middle and on either sides we have the illumination lights. This is the rear exhaust valve of the vehicle. Now let's open the hood and see the engine inside. Here you can see a felt right under the hood. Here we can find a Tata logo on the engine. And this is how the engine part of the Tata Punch looks like. Now let me open the boot of the Tata Punch and show you the boot space. While opening the boot the indicator light blinks. Here we have a distinctive design and can store some items. Below that we can see the large 366 liters of boot space. So as you can see this much space is available. We can also close the boot easily with the help of this handle. Now before moving on to the interior I want to show you a unique feature of the Tata Punch. So you might have noticed how wide the doors are opening. This is because the Tata Punch offers a 90 degree opening doors for hassle free entry and exit. And now this is how the 90 degree doors looks like from the sides. On the driver side door we have a speaker and a silver colored door handle. Below that we have the controls for the window. We also have a storage compartment here and also below that we have a big storage compartment. And on the side we have the speakers. These are the premium upholstery tri arrow design seats and they are very comfortable to sit on. We have a high seating arrangement and the driver side door comes with this height adjustable lever that we can use to decrease the height or also you can use to increase the height. We can also find a lever at the side for adjusting the seat inclination. We can also move the seats back and forth by using this lever. Now moving on we have a dual tone dashboard. We have a leather d cut steering wheel and a leather gear knob. If we look closely we can find the tri arrow design on the dashboard. Now moving on to the steering wheel, we have a silver color here and a massive Tata logo at the center. On the left we have the button for the horn and here we have the volume controls, bluetooth or usb button, voice command option, call attending option, call ending option and also the mute button. Now moving on to the right, we have the button for cruise control, the setting options, the mode changing button, selection button and the horn. Now moving on to the back, on the right we have the controls for the lights and on the left we have the controls for the wiper. On the back of the steering wheel we can find a lever that is used for tilting and adjusting the steering wheel. 
Now moving on, we have a digital cluster on the left and analog speedometer on the right. Now on the right side, we can find the start stop button, the headlamp button, the echo mode option and the auto off option. Now right below, we have a small storage compartment here. Now here is the hood opening lever and also below you can find the clutch brake and accelerator of the Tata Punch and here we can find the fuel cap opener. The Tata Punch is having the body colored air vents and we can find the tornado blue borders on each air vents. This is the floating 7 inch infotainment system with Harman branding. Below that we have two AC vents and between that we have the hazard button. The Tata Punch have automatic climate control. We have all the AC controller buttons here and we have a temperature knob on the right. Now right below that we have a USB A port and a 12 volt socket. We also have a small storage compartment here for placing your mobile phones. Here we have the 5 speed manual leather gear knob and below that we can find the tornado blue borders. And this is the manual handbrake. Beside that we have two cup holders and above that we have a slight storage space. And also we have a socket here. This is the Tata Punch car key with Tata logo at the bottom and piano black finish borders on either sides. We have a lock and unlock button on top and bottom and a headlight button and a boot opening button at the middle. Now here we have the cooled glove box and we have a decent amount of storage space inside. Now moving back to the dashboard, we have a large AC van at the middle and also we have the speaker and the air van on either side of the vehicle. On the rear doors, we have the speaker, the silver colored handles, the window controller, a small storage compartment and a large storage compartment at the bottom and also the speakers. This is the rear door opening button. Now these are the rear seats and it also have the tri arrow design. We have the foldable handrest at the middle and a comfortable headrest. The Tata Punch is having flat fours for the rear passengers. So three people can comfortably sit at the rear seats. Now as you can see, we have a decent amount of leg space for the rear passengers. Now moving back to the instrument cluster, we can change the modes by using these buttons. So first we have trip A, then trip B, the power and torque, the settings option and also the distance to empty option. When we open the doors, it shows the doors are opened. We have the RPM meter on the left, the fuel meter on the right and the temperature on the top. On the right top corner, it shows the time and on the right bottom corner, it shows the total kilometers. Now the next mode is the instant fuel economy mode, then back to trip A. Now let's move on to the infotainment system. By swiping left or right, we can change the widgets to analog or digital. On the right, we have the power button that can be used to turn on the infotainment system. Below that we have the climate control, the music control and inside music we have FM, AM, USB, Bluetooth audio and iPod. Now in the home screen we have the Android Auto, the Apple CarPlay, the current trip and the FM controller. On the left we have the options to turn up or down the volume and to mute. By swiping right we can access the menu and there are Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Ward 3 Words, Radio, USB and voice command. Now by swiping again, we can find the audio setup. Inside the audio setup, we can change the bass, mid, treble and also select from flat, rock, jazz, pop, etc. Now going back, we have the Bluetooth audio, the contacts, the doodle, drive next and favorite option. Now by swiping again, we have the iPod, park assist, phone, phone setup, settings, sound demo and finally we have the theme option. Inside themes, we can find the climate control, color and sound option. For now, we only have blue color and they might add more colors in the future updates. Next, inside setup, we have vehicle setup where we have park assist, lighting. Inside lighting, we have approach lamp and DRL. And we have the voice alert and drive next. Inside audio setup, we can find the same settings we have found before. And next, going to phone setup, we can find pair new device, pair devices, device visibility, SMS alert, etc. Now inside volume setup, we have the speed dependent volume, startup volume, phone and notification volume. Now inside system setup, we have the date and time settings and the factory reset option. We have already seen the theme settings before. Next, we have the software detail option where it shows the current software version, the release date and the update button. And finally, we have the about option where it shows all the information about the infotainment system. On the top it shows the volume status, the time and the climate status. So that's all about the all new Tata Punch. I have given the contact number and other details in the description below. So make sure you check them out. 
so thank you for watching the video guys hit the like button if you like the video and comment your doubts in the comment section below also share this video with your friends if you are not yet a subscriber hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get our latest updates